Honda launched their fit. Toyota introduced the Yaris last year and Nissan is about to set its Versa loose into their showrooms. The subcompact war is going to be ferocious and Hyundai badly needed to rejuvenate its smallest car, the Accent Hatchback. Well after 200 kilometers behind the wheel of this new model, one thing is certain, Hyundai has created a subcompact that has nothing to envy its competition about. From all angles, the three-door Accent is beautiful. Like the sedan, it has a friendly face but has a round posterior that is pretty cute. Even the base models, the GS and GS Comfort, don't look like strippers since they sport body-colored mirrors and door handles. In all models, we can see that Hyundai has taken the time to evaluate the needs of their customer base and go one step further. For example, every Accent hatchback is equipped with a driver's seat armrest, as well as adjustments for the seat cushion. In addition, rear passengers can also appreciate having an armrest that flips out of the seat back. The CD player can read MP3 files even in the base GS model. Congratulations to Hyundai for equipping every Accent hatchback with a rear wiper. It's a very important feature because it helps rise the level of security by allowing an excellent visibility. Speaking of which, is excellent despite the big C pillar and the rear headrests don't block the back window at all. The seats are comfortable and the quality of materials used is impressive. Japanese manufacturers must realize that the Koreans are right behind them and American manufacturers must simply return to the drawing board. Interior space is impressive, although my head was only a few centimeters from the headliner while I'm driving. Finally, the trunk of the Toyota Yaris looks more like a glove box in comparison with the Accent's trunk. The Cataraqui Trail, a twisty and sinuous 20-kilometer stretch of road, is a fabulous location for evaluating the handling of a car. On this road, the accent amazed me. Behind the wheel of a 5-speed GS Premium model, I was eating up the curves and hills. The steering is precise, the brakes are powerful, and the clutch is easy to manipulate. The GS Sport, with a 24% stiffer suspension and larger tires, provides even sportier handling. The engine is not as impressive. Without being lethargic, it seemed to quickly run out of breath despite its 110 horsepower. The shift lever had, let's say, a rubbery feel to it, but does the job anyhow. Above 3500 RPM, the four-cylinder becomes noisy. At 120 kilometers an hour with a manual gearbox, engine speed is about 3700 RPM and its sound becomes tiresome. At the same speed with an automatic equipped car, the engine speed is about 3000 RPM and it's much quieter in the cabin. But in general, the Accent's powertrain is efficient and fuel economy is improved over the previous generation. Because the Accent SR concept was popular at the 2005 Frankfurt Auto Show, Hyundai announced that it will produce an SR version for next September. A Canada exclusive model the Accent SR will be equipped with a bunch of accessories including a ground effects body kit with fender flares and 17 inch wheels with 215, 45, 17 tires. The Accent GS has a very interesting base price of $13,495. That's not expensive since it offers comfort and a ride which is just as pleasing as in more expensive rivals. The GS Sport with its list of equipment seems to be a steal at $16,195. The absence of a five-door Accent for 2007 might be a purchase factor that will turn customers away from the Accent hatchback, but otherwise, the Yaris and Fit will soon see a larger-than-life little Hyundai coming up in the rearview mirror.